And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a little game called Cherry Picking. Now, Cherry Picking is from Zock, who makes some fantastic family-style games. Uh, they make games of big, chunky components and really fun games for kids. And I was at Essen and I saw this small little game called Cherry Picking, thought it sounded cool, saw the cards. It features simultaneous uh, selection in which all players play a card at the same time and sees what happens. There are many of those games that I've played. Is this one any different? Here we see. At the beginning of the game, you're going to have six plant cards that are placed in the middle of the table. Each of these plant cards corresponds with a specific fruit. You're going to have a deck of cards you're going to shuffle. Some cards will come out of this deck depending on the number of players. And then you'll take the leftover cards and deal them out to all the other players. The players are going to have a handful of cards. They're also going to have a harvest pile in front of them, which is where cards are going to be that they've gotten. Before you deal the cards out to everybody, each tree is going to have a card placed at that tree. So. Here are the different cards that are placed at the tree. You can see there's a banana at the banana tree. There is um, a orange at the pineapple tree, a banana at the cherry tree. This one has a basket that's worth a seven. This one has a basket value of zero. And this one has a ladder over here. Now what players are gonna do on their turn is they're gonna pick a card from their hand and they're gonna place them face down and turn them all face up at the same time. And as players turn these cards face up, different things are going to happen. Now, after everyone has turned their cards face up, whoever has a ladder card can take any card they want here. So let's say they want this seven basket. They'll replace that card with the ladder card. If multiple people play ladders, however, then those cards go to your harvest pile. Instead of getting anything here, you simply get the ladder card that you played. After ladder cards have gone, whoever has played a wild fruit card can do the same thing. Say, ooh, I want that for a banana. Again, if multiple people play wild fruit cards, those simply go to your own pile and you get nothing. Now after you've done that, then anybody who has played fruit cards will take the corresponding fruit. So if I play a banana card, I'll take the, the card here at the banana tree. If I play a pear card, I'll take the card at the pear tree. Now if multiple people have played cards of the same type, you just do it in order. So the six would go first and he would get the five. And then the three would go and he would get the six. And then the zero banana would go and he would get the three. So everyone's gonna get a card. It might be the card that you played. It might be a card that you, that, that's at one of these trees out here. After all the fruits have gone, then baskets go. Now baskets can take anything they want, although they go last. So, and they also go in number order. So the five basket will go first. He says, I want the wild fruit. And the four basket says, oh, I want the seven basket. Everyone then plays another card from their hand. And we keep going till all everyone's hands are depleted. At that point, you're going to count up the cards in your hand. First of all, you'll get points for each of the cards. Some cards are worth points, some cards aren't worth any points at all. Then, you will square the number of ladders you have. So if I have three ladders, I would get nine points. Three times three is nine. Then, you'll get points if you have fruits of different types. So if you have one of all six different fruits, uh, you will get an extra 10 points. And then if you have four of the same fruit, you'll get a bonus of 10 points, and if you have five of the same fruit, which of course you could use a wild for, you'll get a bonus of 20 points. Wilds can be used to match either one of those bonuses. Whoever has the most points after doing this three entire times is the winner of the game. Cherry picking is an excellent little game. I was very impressed with just how easily it played and how it goes from three to six players and players are playing their cards down, and you have to really kind of think how you're doing this. What, what are you trying to get? Well, you want to get big point cards, okay? The seven basket is great. Uh, fruits that are worth five are great. But you also want to get sets of colors. Getting five of the same color, a bonus of 20 points, is nothing to scoff at. And getting a whole pile of ladders and squaring them is also can be, you get six ladders, that's 36 points. 
but it's when you play the card. So you know that if you play a ladder, you're gonna get the first choice, but everyone else might have ladders too. In fact, there's I think 10 ladders in the if you play with all the cards. And so someone else is probably gonna play a ladder. So you have to play the ladder when they don't, or you think they're gonna play ladders, you can play the, um, the mixed fruit, the, the wild fruit, you'll get second choice. The basket goes last, but at the same time, it can be kind of a guaranteed pick from whatever you want. But if there's cards out there specifically that you want, you might want to get them now. And other than that, you have to decide, am I going to play the fruit to get this one now? And basically what order? Now, I might be making this sound more complex than it is, and it really isn't. It's kind of just playing cards, but it's not just random. It's not just play a random card from your hand. I don't, you won't win if you play cards randomly from, well, you might, but I doubt it. I, I do like the thought and that there's six different trees out there. And at first the fruits are scattered, but as time goes by, each tree produces the kind of fruit that that tree produces. So if you want to get several grapes, for example, then you're going to have to have a bunch of grape cards in your hand so you can do that, or ladders and fruits and baskets and take them when they're available. Simple, it doesn't prolong its thing. I think three rounds is just long enough. Uh, the game box here says 30 minutes. I think that's that's reasonable. I think. Uh, you can play even faster than that. You can play just a couple rounds if you wanted to. Very small footprint. A fun game. Nice graphics. Easy to play and teach. You know, even if you're colorblind, you'll be able to tell the difference between the different fruits and such. So, uh, a lot of game packed in this small box. Cherry picking. Dice Tower Judgment. Approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Yeah.